Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating a magazine page turn effect inside of the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. So to get started, we will first of all drag in the image plane 3D onto the scene. This is how it's going to look. Then we will also add in a camera 3D. This will add in a merge 3D as well. And then a renderer 3D to output it back into 2D. So if you take a look at the renderer 3D, this is how it is going to look. We'll change the renderer type to hardware renderer. And to see the image plane 3D, we have to go to the camera 3D transform and just increase the Z value over here to see the entire thing. And then let's bring in our first image. And to do that, we have to again use an image plane 3D. And we have to then add in the first image. I got these images from Behance. Then I'm just going to connect the image plane 3D to the merge 3D. This is how it's going to look. So once you do that, then go to image plane 3D and scale it down. And let's also animate it. So for the animation, I will use a transform 3D. I just search for it. And then I want the pivot of this transform 3D to be on the left edge of this image. And since you, we are in the render 3D, we cannot see that 3D pivot. We have to go to the merge 3D for that. And I am looking at this image from the front perspective. Chances are you are in the perspective mode over here, something like this. So just go to the front perspective, go to transform 3D and change the pivot. So expand it and set the X pivot to the left edge of the image over here. You can also zoom in to be precise with this. And then we will animate the rotation so let's go to the very first frame which is frame zero create a keyframe on y set it to zero let's go to frame 60 and set this to a negative 180 once you have that it will look something like this looks good then we will add in some bending in the page turn so let's just after the image plane 3d add in a bender 3d something like this and in the bender 3d we will set the axis to x set the angle to 90 and we will change the amount or keyframe the amount as well so let's go to the very first frame create a keyframe on amount go to frame 60 create the same keyframe and in between which is at frame 30 we will change the bend amount and set this to like negative 0.16 you can use any value that you want but then you can see that it moves the entire image the left side it does not stick at one place so in order to do that we have this center value we will set this to zero and now it will stick to that one position all right so once you have that then you can select these two keyframes go to spline over here and make sure that all the keyframes are selected and right click click on flat Right, so we have these smooth keyframes in them. Animation will look much smoother. Great, so let's just copy this, these four nodes and paste them below. Right click paste and I'm going to connect it to this merge 3D. So let me just arrange this real quick. All right, so once you have that, connect the transform 3D to the merge. And now if you take a look at this, render 3d this is what we will have uh, we cannot see the second image uh, we have to first of all replace the media so let's just go over here and bring in the second image and it will ask you to replace click on ok now we can see the first image and the reason for that is because it is overlapping so we have to go to the image plane 3d over here transform and let's just reset the z over here on both of these all right so we can see only the first image and when the page turns over here i want to see the second image so for that we go to second image plane 3d over here and just reduce it to negative 0.001 so we are first image followed by the second image so this will be our second page i'm going to copy this and paste it down below this will be our third page so let's just connect that and replace the image place the media in and we will select these two keyframes bender and the transform go to keyframes over here and just select these keyframes and move them forward and 
put a gap of 20 frames in between so they will start at frame 20 like so and now we will replace this side with the fourth image i'm going to copy this thing over here paste it down below and connect it to this most 3d let's bring in our fourth image like so and i'll just have to put the transform over here let's see what we have over here if i change or reset the z-axis you will see the fourth image so let's just undo this so th this blue image is, is our third image and then once it flips i want to see the fourth image so we will change the value over here so this negative 0 0.002 and if the image disappears over here as you can see it suddenly pops up and to fix this what we have to do is select that image plane 3d and change the values over here so i'll just reset the z set this to zero and now it should be fixed if you still see this image instead of the first image then what you can do is go to the third image and just increase the global in set this to one or something now the first image will be visible second third and then we have the fourth image over here great so now let's do the final image i'm going to copy this and paste it down below connect it to this merge and let's move the keyframes forward in time and this will be this will begin at 40th frame like that and now we need to replace the media so let's just do that great so we have second third fourth and the fifth image as well but now again it pops up suddenly so we'll just go to the image plane 3d transform and let's try and reset this see what happens and yeah it does work but then at the end it does this weird thing and to fix this we have to actually set this to negative 0 0.003 and again it just pops up randomly over here one way to fix this is actually if we take a look at the merge 3d the reason could be that the image is behind the plane as you can see uh, so if i just go to the image plane 3d and push it back in the z space now it should work absolutely fine set this negative 0 0.005 go to the media out and we should see it working properly great so once you have that we are almost done let's um, also check out some important things for example the second image it's flipped so we have to go to the second image plane 3d and set this to 180 on the y now we have the correct rotation on this I'm going to copy this and I have to do this on the Diallo image as well. So let's just paste that in. There we have it. All right. So now let's add some lighting to this. Just add in a spotlight and connect it to this Moist 3D. Make sure in the render 3D you have lighting and shadows checked. Um, otherwise, this is not going to work. And then in the spotlight, we will go to transform and change the position. I can see the scene over here um and now what we can do is we can focus the spotlight on the on this graphic over here so let's go to the most 3d and let's take a look at the spotlight and you can use the target option use target so now it will kind of focus on on this piece of graphic over here um all right so maybe i'll put it some something like this you can also split the view and see both of these in action and right now it's too intense so we'll just change the light and kind of bring it in the top left corner i want to cast the shadows these long shadows like so but yeah, you can do whatever you want uh, i think just personal preference how you want it to look like i'll just go to the controls and go to shadows instead of setting it to none in the softness i'll just increase i'll just change that to constant and that will give me softer looking shadows 
we can also change whether the background receives the light or not so if we go to the image plane 3d the material and here you can uncheck or check lighting so yeah it's completely your choice i'll just leave it the last image you can see that it's black so we'll just go to the last image plane 3d and go to material and click on two sided so now you'll see it uh, over here as well right so that is pretty much it that's how you can create this animation inside of fusion so i hope this video was helpful if it was do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next one